All right, so would you like to live in a lively urban neighborhood with easy access to Washington, D.C., but maybe you also need a little bit of extra space or an extra room for a home office? So we have the place for you. So today we're talking about the Charleston building. So this high-rise condo is uh, located in the Courthouse Clarendon neighborhood of Arlington, Virginia, and it's 11 stories tall, and it was built in 1991. Yes, back when Vanilla Ice was the jam. Ice, ice baby. So um, not only have we li listed and sold numerous units in this building, but we actually also owned and lived there for six years. So we really know this building well. We really like the building. So today we're going to share with you what it's like to live in the Charleston building and what it offers. So listen up, folks. Here we go. So this condo, the location is amazing. It's um, right on the corner of Clarendon Boulevard and Barton, which is right kind of on the border between Clarendon Courthouse. It's literally two minute walk to the elevator to get you to the uh, Courthouse Metro stop, which is the orange and silver line metros. So I actually commuted to DC for a couple of years and I can tell you from leaving the front door of our condo build, uh, of our condo unit to stepping foot onto the streets of DC was like 10 to 15 minutes, which I think is absolutely amazing. Literally two stops to get into DC and just an easy, quick jump on the Metro and you're, and you're there. So really great location. Also this neighborhood has numerous shops, restaurants, grocery stores. You have Trader Joe's and uh, Whole Foods all within a very short walk. There's also weekend farmer's market in uh, courthouse, which we went to quite a bit, and A-rated schools, and it really has a great neighborhood feel. So I really enjoyed living in this neighborhood. So much to do, so much to walk to. You actually don't need a car if you live in this, this location, this building in this neighborhood. So great location. The next thing that sets this building apart is the unique floor plans. There's a true one bedroom, one bath. There's also a one bed, one bath with a den. And there's two bedroom, two bath options ranging from roughly 650 square feet to for the one bedroom to over, a, you know, a little bit over a thousand square feet for the larger two bedroom. That one in a den floor plan really sets it apart from other buildings in the neighborhood. Also, all the units either have an enclosed sunroom or an open balcony. The sunrooms are a very versatile space. We've, we've seen them used for a variety of things. Uh, we even had our daughter uh, set up a desk and do virtual school out of the sunroom during the pandemic. I just want to add also about the dens. I think the one bedroom plus den model in particular has been very desirable because you get an extra room and um, the price point is definitely significantly lower than purchasing a two bedroom in the area, which can you know really get up in the sixes. So, That's right. Um, the one bedroom plus den really gives a good option for people looking for a, an extra room and extra space for uh, you know that home office or maybe just a guest bedroom or second bedroom. And also that sunroom, the enclosed sunrooms give that extra room that we all need right now. Yes. Some people do prefer the open balconies, which are also nice if you want to have really an outdoor space. So what about the amenities? All right, so the amenities. So this building does have full amenities. Um, there is a front desk concierge that will take all your packages and handle all that stuff for you. Okay. The front desk, I have to say, is amazing. We love them. Um, and there's also an in-ground pool. There is underground parking. Um, there is extra storage space. Each unit comes with a storage space that's, that's under AC. Um, there is a small gym and there's also a party room. So like I said, this building was built in 1991. Um, and it was really solidly constructed. All right, so one thing I wanna add about this building is that it has a reputation for being pretty more on the soundproof side. Not completely soundproof, but you're not gonna hear your neighbors nearly as much as you would in, in a lot of the other um, apartment and condo buildings that are built a little bit more with wood and things like that. So um, you don't hear your neighbors so much, which is a really nice feature when you're, you know, when you're living in a high rise in a condo or apartment building. So also another really great thing about this building is that all the utilities are included in the condo fee. The only one that's not specifically in the condo fee is the electric, but 
The electric bill is extremely low because this building was put on a single commercial account a couple years back, which allows for them to charge a flat set fee for the electric every month. It's extremely low. Um, about for the one bedroom with a den, it's about $35 a month right now. That's in 2021. So, um, and it doesn't change. doesn't matter how much you use or don't use. You're always going to pay the same flat fee every month. The only other service that you do have to pay for on your own is, of course, your cable and internet, which Verizon Fios is available in this building. I believe Comcast is also available. We actually use Verizon Fios, which was great. And that's it. Nicely said, Lila. One more thing we want to talk about, and we think it's really important to share about the Charleston building, is the overall culture of the residents, the attitude of the residents. If you lived in the Charleston building or live there now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Most of the residents are eager to help one another. One specific example was last Christmas, a resident took it upon himself to send a note out on building link to everyone in the building, asking for a donation for the management staff of only $5, put it in an envelope, slip it under his door. And much to our surprise and most residents in the building, by the time he collected all the money, he raised over $1,000 to give to the management staff so they could share it for a Christmas gift. I mean, come on folks, is that not a Christmas to remember? <laughs> All right, so thank you again for taking the time to watch our short video. If you have any specific relatable topics that you would like us to talk about, then kindly leave us a comment below and we'd be happy to talk about it. We are Eric and Lila Bross of the Bross team with Century 21 Redwood Realty and we will see you next week. Bye.